say it with me. Hey, quarantiners! Today is Friday, February 26th, and yes, I'm finally back. You know how it is. You take a little break, and then you get used to being on a break, and then the break gets longer, and you get even more used to being on a break, and then the break- I think they get the idea, Remy. Right. Did I mention that Alex is here? Hey out there, long time no speak. In my defense, I did say we'd be back in February, and it's still February. Made it in under the wire. And also in my defense, I was waiting for something to happen. I didn't want to come back to say, hey, quarantiners, nothing new to report. I'm Remy, and this is blah, blah, blah. I wouldn't say nothing happened. No, you're right. Alex has been out there on the road with the four and Holiday, looking for other kids who are different and special. I've been helping them. I hear their voices sometimes, and then I pass it on to Alex. And off we go. Off they go. Oh, Holiday's decided to still speak through the computer. Probably not necessary at this point, but it's kind of her thing now. I don't like the way my real voice sounds when I listen to it. This is better. Whatever. Point is, I was waiting for something big story-wise. The first 142 episodes were a lot to live up to, you know? Between almost being trapped in another dimension forever, forming a team with two versions of myself, major cliffhangery stuff. So I waited and waited and finally something big happened. We'll get to that soon, but first I have to ask, have you been listening to Gen Z's new show, Cupid and the Reaper? I have. Episode three comes out today. Cannot wait to hear what happens. What's the episode called? It's called... Zombies and the Teacher. Terrifying. Do you have a favorite character yet? Well, I've always been a huge fan of Chloe from Becoming Mother Nature, but I've started to like Marcus, a.k.a. Cupid. You? Sarah seems pretty cool. Uh Uh-huh. What? Nothing. Anyway, if you like big adventures and cool powers, go to gzmshows.com and give it a listen. And I promise we'll be having big adventures soon, too. You know, they don't just listen to Remy's Life for the big stuff. It's called Remy's Life for a reason. People like hearing about our lives. Okay, then let me catch you up on that part. Where to start? Well, I was in school, briefly. Yep, we moved to a hybrid model, and I actually got to sit in a classroom for about three weeks. And now I'm back home full time. So that happened. What else? This winter had a lot of snow, not just here in New Jersey, but even in places that don't usually get it. I'm thinking about all my friends out there in Texas and other states that have had a tough time lately. If you want to help those still struggling, please do. There are a lot of great charities out there, including FeedingTexas.org. We're thinking about you, and speaking of my friends out there, it's shout-out time! Happy belated 11th to Hayden in Manhattan, Illinois. Happy 10th to Anya. Happy 14th to Eva S. in Bulgaria. First from Bulgaria? I think so. Happy belated to Joanne, and happy birthday to Elaine and her sister Alessa. Happy 14th to Anna in Paw Paw, Michigan. Jordan and Peyton from Fort Wayne, Indiana want to wish their mom, Shiloh, a happy birthday. Happy 13th to Mir. Happy 9th to Ethan in Everett, Washington. Happy belated 11th to Zoe from her BFF, Dania, who is turning 10 next month. Happy 10th to Sully from your sister, Madeline, and Stripley. Happy belated 10th birthday to Theo in Seattle, Washington. Happy belated to Grace's dad. Happy belated 13th to Emma. Happy 8th to Towns in Winnipeg, Canada from Mom, Dad, and your sister Ruby. Happy 7th to Samuel in Temecula, California from Mommy, Daddy, and Sarah. Happy 12th to Cleo in Sydney, Australia. Happy 13th, Annabella. And happy 7th to Simon in Ithaca, New York. Remember to send emails and shout out requests to the Gen Z producers at Remy's Life Podcast at gmail.com. Now, since New Year's Day, when we made it home and the gates closed, I've been taking trips to the tunnel in the basement. It's weird to say, but I miss the gates. I miss Rem and Xander and Lex and even RJ. Every day, I spend some time down there, just in case, 
And every day I wasn't finding anything until I did. Okay, Tunnel Explorations Day 47. We had a lot of snow last night, and they actually gave us a snow day. Nice of them since we're home anyway. I'm going sledding with Fiona later, but first, I explore. Lots of yarn to enroll. Yesterday, I walked down the right fork of the tunnel 3,453 paces. Today, I'll go another 100 paces and add that to the map when I get back. So far, the tunnel just goes. We know these tunnels have been here for hundreds of years, back to revolutionary war times. But without the gates, they're just always underground. That sounds like water up ahead. Must be all the snow. Yeah, flooding would be bad down here. I'd better head back for now. Hello? Is someone down here? I don't hear any voices in my head other than my own. Guess it's just the water dripping down. I'll head back. Remy! Remy, wake up! Huh? Take out the AirPods. What? What? Take out the AirPods! Oh. You fell asleep in the tunnel again. I did? Right inside the door. You know that's kind of weird, right? I guess. But it's dark and cozy. It's a tunnel. I like being down here, okay? I know I can't talk to Rem, but it makes me feel good to sit down and put on music and... It's okay. I get it. Here, let me help you up. Ugh, thanks. What's that on your arm? Huh? Looks like you wrote yourself a note in Sharpie? No, why would I do that? Well, if you didn't, then while you were sleeping, someone else wrote on your arm. Okay, um, so I'm back in my room, and I... Well, I want to play you a little bit of the sound from a video I recorded on my phone. Fiona and I were getting ready to go sledding. Fee, look! Snow Angel! Come on before the snow melts! Maisie, come back! Maisie! I got her! Maisie! Ready, be careful! Come here, Maisie! Maisie, stop! Maisie! Ah! That was me chasing after Fiona's dog, Maisie, and slipping on ice. How's your wrist feel? Sprained. And the cut I got on my hand is probably going to leave a scar. Remy, we need to talk about... I know. Tell them. Okay, so I'm not sure what it means, but the note on my arm, the one written by someone in the tunnel, why don't you read it to them? Three words in black sharpie. Don't chase dog. Don't chase dog. And just like that, we're back. Until next time, I'm Remy and this is my life interrupted.